The bus behind me right now is one of five buses that are used in CAV 41. We're about to launch that service. It's 14 miles each way, running at 40 and 50 mile an hour in autonomous mode, and what we call autonomous mode AV level four. So the system is fully redundant, but we will have a safety driver in place. From that project, we are moving on to CAV 42, which is the project we're talking about today. The same project partners, and the challenge for CAV 42 is we're extending the route into a city centre, so we have to develop the technology for that level of complexity. We're also adding in some innovations around how consumers can interact with the autonomous technology. We're keeping that secret right now, but that's going to be one of the surprises in the project as it develops. We're using these Alexander Dennis 12 meter diesel buses and we will be measuring the fuel economy back to back between manual drive buses and autonomous buses. But we're also introducing a brand new all electric Alexander Dennis bus, which is the Enviro 100 AEV. And all of the learning from the diesel buses will go into that new uh, all electric bus. And we think that bus will then be ready for 2025 introduction on the road. So for us, it's very much R&D. It's learning what, what the technology can do um, and what benefits it can have for, for our passengers and our business. Stagecoach started exploring autonomous technology back in 2018. Um, we got into a partnership with Fusion Processing and Alexander Dens Limited, and we automated a bus that could drive around our depot in Manchester. So it could uh, take itself to get fuel through the bus, bus watch and park itself up for the night. Uh, and that partnership naturally progressed into the Cab Forth One project, uh, which was a demonstrator project uh, aiming to launch the UK's first autonomous bus service. That has followed on to Cab Forth Two, um, which is to continue running that service as a commercial service. The Cab Forth project is unique because we're using a full-size bus. It's running in mixed traffic. Uh, it's going up speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. It's a it's a real use case. So the passengers that travel on this could be commuters. They could start to rely on the service, um, and it will be registered um, a, a commercial service. So they need to, they're going to need to buy tickets if they, if they want to come for a wee shop. Where we see autonomous vehicles going is we believe that commercial vehicles offer the first opportunity to commercialise them. We say that because commercial vehicles operate on repeat routes like buses and trucks and also the fleet operators are intensely interested in safety, uh, fuel efficiency and saving cost and we can bring all that together with our autonomous vehicle technology. What we hope to offer city planners and regional planners is an alternative transport system, let's say alternative to trams, because we know trams are very expensive, you have to tear up the infrastructure, and they navigate by following steel slots in the road, which works perfectly well, but that's Victorian technology. So what we want to do is offer this technology where you don't need to tear up the infrastructure and people can walk on and walk off these vehicles uh, in the same way we walk on and walk off a train where the driver can spend more time looking after the passengers rather than looking after the vehicle. Obviously this is high risk so we need this level of funding to get us to the point where the market is comfortable to come with us. Without that funding this simply would not happen and that's not just for tech companies like Fusion but also for big companies like Stagecoach and Alexander Dennis so we need this level of help to get to where we are right now.